The Las Vegas Raiders thankfully sent slot corner LaMarcus Joyner packing after he gave them two subpar years for the big contract they gave him. And now, they're looking for a replacement that can give them better production than Joyner gave them. Amit Robertson was drafted last year to give Joyner competition there, but he was an outside corner in college. And with no offseason program last year, he had trouble transitioning. Damon Arnett was a great slot corner at Ohio State at one time, so I thought he might give it a shot with Casey Hayward taking his spot. But the Raiders appear not to be enthused about him at all at this time. Nevin Lawson has experience in the slot, but we know he's not an exciting option. So 2021 fifth round pick Nate Hobbs, the self-proclaimed Raiders greatest underdog, has a shot at starting at slot corner. There was plenty of buzz around him at minicamp last week. We start with the bad. Sometimes Hobbs doesn't react fast enough to what the receiver is doing. And that causes separation and catches on him. Route recognition isn't a strong suit of his either as he gets turned around here. Here, he gets a good jam and has good coverage on his man, but just doesn't finish. When you don't have good route recognition, you don't close on the ball fast enough. He can also get caught peeking into the backfield, biting on play fakes. Oh, he's by him now. does well that bodes well for him as a slot corner as he plays the run well. Oh, and he can hit. Here he's going to show the speed to close on him on the jet sweep. Here he gets rid of the receiver and stops his running play from getting worse. And on this corner blitz, he's not going to actually make the tackle, but he's going to blow this play up. Here's a nice open field tackle to stop this running play from getting worse. Now the quarterback's going to try him and he's going to get sent flying. Oh! Here he is in tight with no receiver to his side and he's going to stop this running play from getting worse. Now watch him get rid of the receiver and make the play here. Here, he's going to take on a pulling tight end to help stop this run play. This one, he's going to stop the running back from getting in the end zone. That's what you need a slot corner. Someone that's not afraid to mix it up in the scrum. Here he's going to get low on the pulling guard and make the play. Here's a nice open field tackle. Here he's going to be in the zone and he's not letting anyone jump over him. Oh yeah, he'll come up and light you up in zone too. Oh. Hobbs is blasting on this one. Oh! He's a big hitter, so receivers often hear footsteps when he's around. Like right there. Even Jonathan Taylor hears footsteps here. 
now we're on to coverage, where Hobbs can stick to his man and press, but his teammates up front take care of business for him on this play. Here we are in the red zone and Hobbs is going to come through. Here, Hobbs is going to bail into a deep zone and make a play on the ball. And here he's going to bail into what looks like a cover three to me and do the same thing. As you can see, Hobbs was a press bail corner at Illinois, so he's a perfect fit for Gus Bradley's system. Here he's going to plaster to his man in the scramble drill. And on this one he's going to get a nice break on the ball and get his hand on it. Whether it be zone or man, Hobbs always seems to know where he's supposed to be. Here they're going to play a little game with him with the motion, but he's still going to be where he's supposed to be. And incomplete it is. Now we have Hobbs in the slot, or inside, where he's going to be with the Raiders. And he's going to break this one up. And then he's going to drive on this one. That's what the Raiders saw for them to take him in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft. And all reports out of minicamp is he's been that and then some. When asked which of the rookies stood out to him in minicamp, this is what Trayvon Mullen said. Yeah, um, I'll say Nate, Nate Hobbs, uh, young guy. Um, I feel like he's going to be really talented. Uh, he practice hard. Um, he go through his drills really well. Um, I like the way he approach practice. Um, I feel like he's going to be a, a, a real good uh, player for us as long as he just uh, keep his mentality up and just keep going hard every day. Defensive coordinator Gus Bradley said he stood out the most of all the slot corners. Um, you know, guys like Lawson has really jumped out. I, I think he's a guy that has picked up very well on it. Uh, Amik, we got playing there. He, he's doing he's doing a nice job on the inside. The guy that's probably really jumped out at us is Hobbs. The kid from Illinois, uh, very impressed with him. I think he's come in with a real good knowledge of the position, so his learning curve is, is uh, really jumped up. So there, there's a couple guys right there that we're looking at. It would have been nice to see Hobbs with more interceptions to his name while he was at the University of Illinois, but he showed the ability to cover the slot, the ability to play the run in there and that he's a big hitter. He's also very opportunistic for turnovers, and with his return specialist background, he knows what to do with them. Plus, he's a grinder, so he has a shot to start at slot corner in 2021 for the Raiders. Thank you for watching, see you next time.